Do you remember the good old days when you could put steel into your CADWORKS model without going through multiple different programs? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that again. So welcome back to a new video. Uh, this one we're going to be looking at a little bit of customization uh, in order to get your steel to come back. So uh, back in 2017, 2019, I can't remember which version, uh, Hexagon uh, split apart uh, the steel, uh, created its own program called Structure. And so you had Cadwork Structure and you had Cadwork's Plant. And now you couldn't put steel into your piping models uh, for MPS supports or something like that. Uh, there was a workaround where uh, you could load up a steel library and you know bring that in. That was very clunky. I have a video uh, about that you know up here. Uh, you can go back and look at it if you want to do that route. Um, but they allowed you to load up uh, structure at the same time as plant, but it would take two licenses. And so you would check out basically two licenses when you did that. Uh, I think in 2019 or 2020, they fixed that little bug uh, where it didn't pull two licenses. Uh, so you can actually uh, load up, um, you know, your structure and also your uh, equipment at the same time. And so uh, it's documented on the help page. Uh, I'll put the link down below in the description. Um, but uh, I want to show you how to do that here. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get into your options in AutoCAD and go to your profile. Uh, you want to make sure that your CADWORKS uh, profile is loaded. And so uh, that way you, you're using the right one. Uh, of course, there's a couple of different ways. I'm a typer, so I'm just going to type in OP options. And it's going to bring it up on a different screen. Um, and you can see that we have our CADWORKS plant 23. Now, what I usually do is before I make any changes to my AutoCAD profiles, I make a copy of it. So we're going to say, uh, you know, we're going to say add to list and we're just going to call this, you know, CADWORKS plant 23, 23 old. Okay. So that way you can always go back to uh, this one if you screw something up. Um, so we're going to hit apply and close. Okay, we're not going to load that one. We don't need to. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to your files. And we're going to go to uh, files. And you can see right now we've got CADWORKS Plan 23 support and a couple other search files uh, folders uh, for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit, you know, add. We're going to add a new search. We're going to hit browse, go to wherever your CADWORKS is located. So we're going to say C drive, uh, CADWORKS 23, and we're going to go to uh, structure. We're going to go to su uh, support. That's the first folder. And we're going to hit open. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing. So add, browse. It's going to keep bringing this up to uh, your uh, you know, to your de default. Uh, what I usually do is I go to uh, Windows Explorer and start using this to kind of populate the information that I need. So if you go to, uh, again, 23, go to structure, um, you know, go into blocks. We want to, you know, copy that one, come back over here, Go to add. Go back into here. We want to make sure we got our borders. We're going to hit add borders. And then we're also going to, like I said, I want to load up equipment at the same time. So uh, we're going to do, you know, add and oh, that's not going to work. So we're going to come over here, go to equipment, uh, go down to equipment. 
and the support folder. That's the only one we need for um, the equipment. So we're going to minimize that. We're going to hit add. We're going to hit paste. Okay. And then we're going to hit apply. And then, okay. Nothing's going to change at this time. Okay. Nothing's going to change up here. Uh, the second thing that you need to do is go into um, your, you know, CADWorks plant folder. Okay. 23 plant. Uh, we're going to do support and we're going to come down and look for an R AutoCAD RX file. So what I usually do is just a AutoCAD. There it is. AutoCAD.RX. Okay. And you're going to open this up in um, Notepad or Notepad++ or whatever you want to use. Um, and I've already got it open over here. And we're going to bring this over. And by default, only the CADWorks plant is loaded. So uh, the CADWorks plant.arx. Uh, you will have to put in the CADWorks structure.arx and the CADWorks equipment dot ARX. Um, and those can be found inside of the support folders for both of these softwares. And, but basically this is the text that you need to put into your, uh, your new, uh, AR, uh, RX folder file. And so we're going to hit save. Okay. And close this out. Okay. So once we've got that still, nothing has changed, right? So we're going to close out our models. Uh, yeah, we're going to hit save. And we're going to hit close. Okay. Nope. It's just a dummy drawing. Don't care. And then we're going to go to our CADWorks. That's, and we're going to go to CADWorks 23 professional and we're going to hit open. And if I did this correctly, you'll see some magic happen. Hopefully on this screen, you should see this come up, you know, your initial, uh, drawing environment, choose your environment, Imperial metric. Um, we're going to hit close. Uh, we want Imperial. Let that finish loading up here. And you can see that CADWorks equipment is loading up. Again, it's going to ask you the same thing. We're going to hit, you know, Imperial and close. Okay, so once it's finished loading, you're going to see that not only do you have your CADWorks plant uh, button right here, uh, your ribbon, but you also have your equipment that you can start using and you have your structure. Uh, if, so if we click on um, shapes, and we do a Y flange and we're we'll do, uh, you know, every, you know, six by 15 and we're going to hit insert. We're going to bring this in here. Now you're able to put steel into your piping model, uh, show where you want your MPSs for structural without going to another program. I hope that helps you design and model faster without having to jump between different programs. Uh, remember, if there's anything that you would like to see, let me know down in the comments below. I've been trying to get those uh, uploaded as fast as possible, uh, but I'm busy. So, um, you know, hopefully we can get a little bit more consistency here. Um, but uh, remember to like, share and subscribe to your friends, um, you know, and until next time.